Okay, tonight I have bought all these. Okay. Uh, for a total of 203 euro. This is actually a big dent in my budget. Three times the price of the drums. Just for some rosettes, a strain, a couple of skins, and uh, two holders there. So today I kind of sorted my uh, kick drum, this is it, look as you can see. This lugs uh, used to be on the floor tom as well, so I kind of reused those two feet and those two lugs to make substantially heavier, so this is it. So today I put the ring with an old skin on it and I kind of measured the distance well you see there's not much room for left but it's enough actually that length there is enough to what I've done also is not on this top but on the snare I have put this to put the actually snare wire on this side and I've marked on this side you probably won't see it but you know that's the side where there was the the glue kind of ripped the wood, so I put two marks there. There's going to be some marks. That's that's where the this part. Okay. Finally, I have received my drum pieces. It took me about two weeks. So let's open it. Clamps to attach the tongue and uh, snare drum. Now I have a second one. Perfect, two clamps, Tama clamps, original Tama parts. Now those rosette, they were Gibraltar. Uh, I prefer the Tama ones, but they were way cheaper, so um, they seem to do the part anyway. I get the cheapest snare strain. Uh, it's 13 inch. I don't know, I can do the focus today. Uh, I'm quite happy with them. And my skins are here, Evans, because I love them. I've drilled two holes there in my snare, so I'm going to try to finish pretty soon. I'm going to attach that snare strain. Okay, two screws that I found from an old thumb holder and inside parts from the dismantled snare that I'm reusing again. Great. Okay. Something I did as well is a vent because that drum is going to be closed so you need a vent unfortunately I don't have anything to cover that vent so I had to leave it raw for the moment I don't know if I'll uh, cover it in the future, might not but um, kind of ripped a bit the wood inside a few months back I had drawn this it's the 16 inch bass drum where I put you know the tone of the pedal. This is the tom tom holder, tom holder that will hold a bar across, so we can attach the pedal. Then there will be another tom holder there for the fo third foot, and for the fourth one here. So as you can see, look my square. Those they're gonna be parallel to the pedal. So I have put the bass drum on the drawing. As you can see, I'm going to put this rosette here next to the lug. I'm glad I trust it. Same for the other side. This is the rosette I put already. And then the other one is here and it's going to go there next to that lug. So you see the tracing is very important because don't start putting your rosettes ev anywhere. You could make a lug in between, you know. It doesn't have to be a precision, uh, precision job, but you need to, f to. The only thing you have to do is to be straight. So I trace the middle of where the rosette will be. I use my square here. Okay, 
Okay, if it doesn't have holes. And uh, there, the rosette is up. Uh, that's the only new part on this kit so far. So, well done, me. Behold the bass drum. No skin yet. This is the bass drum. That's the next step. I'm gonna put some Evans drum head. This is a special drum head I found. Hydraulics. And uh, that should give me a nice thump on the bass drum. Let's so have a bit of a motion. I'm putting my first skin on my new old drum. I'm gonna put the logo just straight where the pedal should be. So that's gonna give me a clue. So everything seems to fit snugly. First tuning the screw. This is it buddy. That hydraulic skin by Evans is there's some oil in it. I don't know if you see there, there's some kind of oil between two plies of plastic. A finished product. Yay. Very happy. Very happy. Hello. Okay, same treatment for the snare. This is the snare. Hello. This is the resonant one. I uh, went for kind of a cheap aquarium one. It will do the job. I don't need anything fancy for the bottom. So let's do this. Okay, fit snugly. I was so excited to fit the snare that I forgot a very important part. Um, I'm not going to fit the skins tonight because I need to put a slit there in that hoop and a slit there at the opposite side to be able to fit the strainer you know, the snare strain otherwise I won't be able to fit it I couldn't rest obviously so uh, I couldn't finish the snare but at least I finished the 12 inch this is the product finish with the rosette, the new skin and well, that's what it looks like, it looks like. I'm very, very happy with that result. Once again, I'm using Evans. This is a kind of three pack. Uh, it exactly suits my uh, dimensions. So 12, 13, 16, perfect. Mm -hmm. 